Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where we are gonna take down a demagogue. I'm ready. I'm very, very ready. Let's... Aaron's dash of courage. Okay, easy enough to do on the run. Holy moly, way back there. Do I? I do have this whole area exposed because I did the tower thing. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Deep trouble and dash of courage. The bristlebacks. The bristlebacks are definitely important to take care of. But I'll probably run up here and beat some stuff up. Oh, okay, someone said I should read the character bio bios. Okay. Um, Farl is a warrior from the rustic Nora tribe. His mother, Sona, is the tribe's war chief, known for her eye, will, and stern disposition. She trained him to become a skilled hunter with his little sister, Vala, following in their footsteps when the militant cult known as the Eclipse murdered a number of the Nora youth, including Vala. Varl teamed up with Aloy to exact vengeance. Since then, the two have shared a bond, fueled by mutual respect and common values. They fought side by side a number of engagements, culminating the Battle of the Alight, in which the Eclipse were finally vanquished along with their buried shadow, the rogue AI known as Hades. When Aloy vanished after the battle, Varl tried her to the wilderness. Although they once shunned her as an outcast, the tribe now believes that she is the anointed destined to carry out the will of the All-Mother, their goddess. As such, he feels a spiritual responsibility to a sister that goes beyond mere friendship. That's gonna get crushed. Oh boy. Okay. Elizabeth Sobek. Oh boy. I, I am going to read this to myself. <laughs> Hello, this is Editor Me really quick. I just want to let you guys know that I do read this to myself. I don't read it out loud, but I do pause at key moments so that you guys can read it like as i'm scrolling down i'll you know edit in a pause essentially for a few seconds so that you guys can pause the screen yourselves and read it yourself if you want i do have a few moments where i'll like interject with commentary and stuff like that and for the really short like uh what do you call it the profiles i guess um i don't edit out those because it you know takes like 15 seconds for me to read it so just so you know uh, feel free to pause it at different moments because it should be able to catch all the info for you without me having to read it out loud. So, there you go. Let's hop right back into it. Okay, so 20... Oh, never mind. This is a... Uh, that's the DLC thing. In the, in the DLC, there's like some sort of AI thing going on as far as... Like, I still don't know like a ton about it. Um, but I've met the spirit, essentially, at least a tiny bit in... Um, like with the shaman in the frozen wilds dlc and it's i think in 2046 they're building the fire break system and so that is pre ted pharaoh's frick up by quite a bit it looks like so okay then it's not maybe what i thought it was but it's something else which is interesting i thought it was maybe a sub program of gaia but i think it's actually its own separate ai project Something to do with potentially uploading a person? I don't- I'm- I am totally guessing still, I think, from what little I've seen in the data. Like, the data points that you can read as you go along. Um, it sounds like there's something- like, it's a massive server room, essentially. The AI is still active, and it could talk to a current person. Like, it was like- it knew who the shaman was, and tried to ask for help before, like, it got shut down by, like, the rogue daemon thing um like not shut down but blocked by the rogue daemon uh and but it's it's also something about like there was like something about like emotional like connections and like programs designed like in place to like prevent like too much like emotional feedback or something um and that one person is potentially sacrificed for millions is is a could be a good idea but there was like the ethical quandaries of that anyway I've only read a little bit of the data points on that, so this is different. That's good to know. It's before Gaia. Anyway, I wasn't sure. Yay. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's right. There's a mysterious signal that infected Hades. I thought Hades had just gone rogue and had created its own 
like it was the mysterious signal, but apparently there was a mysterious signal that infected Hades. Not before Hades and the other subordinate functions fled, embedding themselves in ancient computer systems throughout the land. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that might be a spoiler for the DLC, but don't tell me if it is. Travis Tate. I do, like, I think someone said in the comments, one of my friends was like, you, Travis Tate is not the kind of person you want to meet in real life, potentially, but is a pleasure and a, a hilarity to encounter in the game itself, and I agree. I will have to see more of Travis Tate, I think, in some sort of holograms, because Hades is his baby. And I wonder if he potentially like put in any sub programs or something if, if in case this sort of a thing ever happened. Hey, it's your boy. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to read Silences yet, because I'll, I'll probably have... There'll probably be spoilers for the DLC in there. Frost! Okay, he looks very different in this one. I know that they changed some of the faces for some people, but this one... I don't... He looked... This is at least potentially a younger version of him, not the salty version that we see of him at the end of... Or at the beginning, I guess, of Horizon Zero Dawn, where he, you, like, kind of see him age, and he gets very, like, salty beard and gray hair and stuff like that. God, I couldn't imagine being stuck in a room with him for the rest of my life. first encountered Petra at the settlement of Free Heap, where the tinker sought to build a life for herself outside the hard-headed rules and misogynistic customs of the Osram homelands? They have misogynistic customs? I didn't- I've never heard about that. I- I've seen men and women working the forge. Like, and being- I'm pretty sure I've seen women be warriors too. Like, for the Osram. Maybe not? Maybe, maybe there's no women warriors, but they can, I mean, they can run stuff unless the elder man position specifically is only given to men, which is very Karja of them, which is odd. Um, definitely the tribes like the Nora and the Banuk are far more egalitarian. With social stratification of like when you start building like cities and permanent structures and stuff, there you know social stratification happens, and that's also when often gender stratification happens too. Uh, I actually read a really good book that was talking about it a bit recently. Uh, what was it called? Uh, oh, I think I, I put it back. What book? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up now. I kind I got a. I gotta recommend. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't talk about it a ton. It mostly talks about um, like parallels and like the rise and falls of like ancient cities with like modern, you know, modern parallels, and like you know, 
being able to adapt to like things like climate change and, and changes in like social expectations. Oh yeah, Four Lost Cities, A Secret History of the Urban Age by Annalie Newitz. I highly recommend it. It's not too long. I think it's like 300, it's like 320 pages. It's not long. And it talks about, was it um, Pompeii? Uh, Katahoyuk? Cahokia? And what's the last one? Pompeii, Catalyuk, Cahokia. What is it? Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat in Cambodia. That's the other one. Really fascinating. Like a wide array of like time periods, like in ancient time, like ancient time periods and like, you know, disparate like places, you know, across the country, across the world, rather, the globe. <laughs> uh, I highly recommend it. It sounds maybe not super exciting, a secret history of the urban age, but it talks about like the rise and fall of like ancient cities and like different, I've, I've already said this, but like parallels in some ways to like what's going on in current stuff and like what happened, what we can tell through the archaeological record of like different stratifications, like class stratification, gender stratification, you know, all this stuff like that. It's, it's quite interesting. It doesn't go super in depth into all of them because it has like the four big cities. You could write a book on each one. You probably, probably, probably write a series of books on each one but yes boop, 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 boop. I don't oh, okay cool 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 uh, oh, oh first okay let me put let me no where's quest okay side quest I'm gonna go to the north and we will deal with that on the way. The lighting keeps messing up. Oh, I bet they're. Who's yelling? Who's who's talking to me? Was somebody talking to me? On what? Any toes? I see. Okay. I thought they said Chulls. I've been reading the Stormlight Archives. Yes! You can climb the- Yes! Before you just have to- oop, You just have to hope you could haul yourself up. It seems like bitter leaf likes to grow on rocky terrain. Good to know. Potentially near water. I think I see some over there. Oh, here's some. Okay, I think I have enough. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna be mega into food creation. If that's a thing I have to do. I. I liked it in Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure it's something I'm gonna be invested in. You know. Otherwise. There's some things they've taken away from Horizon, from, like, the fact that I can't just craft ammo on the go anymore, although I, I can't, I mean, I can craft this, but, like, I can't change, um, I don't know, what was it, there was stuff, like, the, they took out the whole crafting, like, tab, which is frustrating, I want to be able to do that on the fly, I always, a self-sufficient woman who lives in the wilds, she shouldn't be, you know, Constrained by having to go to a workbench for things. On me. I can send it to my staff. Excellent. Okay. Good to know. Um. Wait. Uh. Let's see. Weak to fire. Let's see. Do I have? I don't. I don't have my trip caster yet. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, acid. Oh, this is the, this is the, this is the crossbow. Sick. But these are, I want to be able to snipe. Um, uh huh. Key resource upgrade. All right, well. Hmm. 
I hate I hate using the blast slings too. They're just I'm just not a fan. I don't like them. They're because you can't use them long distance. I don't like that. Let's try acid. See how that goes. It's a fight then. Oh, there's one that's close to me. Reducing damage resistance, okay. What? What? <laughs> okay, time for the crossbow action. Wait, this is not the crossbow? Oh, maybe it's not a crossbow, it just... <sighs> the way it looked... In. Is this not. That is not the weapon I am holding. Oh, then. Yeah. Oh. So I did. I, it's been too long. Oops, I did start out with this bow. Not this. Okay. Well. Oh, and something else a friend and I were talking about is that they put this icon in the top middle, right? That's like... Oh yeah, you've alerted some machines, but it doesn't put them on the machines so you can't track them... ...very easily. Why am I still crouching? Don't, don't, no, get back out. Okay, there it is, I'm good. Where is... There's another one. Oh, where is it? Oh, I knocked this off. How convenient. Blast pace. I mean, I, can, I, can, I swear I can hear it. There it is. No. I can dodge while swimming. That's cool. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Much better. Do the critical hit thing. Oh my gosh. Excellent. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Press it while swimming. Oh, I'm like a little water. Sends to my stash. How how does she even how does she even justify that? Like how she's like mm, yes I'm gonna just send this to I'm gonna teleport it like she shouldn't even mention it. She's like oh yeah she's gonna teleport it like like you do. Can I? Oh my gosh, it's so nice to climb. I can travel. Can I not travel to ones that are white? But I can't travel to green ones. I might be too close to travel to this one. I'm worried that if I don't touch it, it'll be like 
No, you can't come here anymore. Oh jeez. Scrimmages. Might have said the point of the camera in their scrapbooks. I didn't pick up, I think, what I was supposed to. That I that he wanted. Maybe I shouldn't use acid on him. That's ridiculous. You can't. Okay, it's an electrical charge. I guess you could say it's trying to track the electrical charge that's inherent in like the molecular bonds that occur in our own bodies. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be upset about it. Do it, do it, it took me out. Oh my gosh, no. Oh no, okay, we're good. We're kind of, we're still back up. Why are there- why are there otters? This is actually really frustrating, the fact that you, like, have to pay better attention <laughs> to, like, what machine is, like, aware of you. Can I whistle? Oh, I have- I have only rocks. Oh wait, um... Uh, I don't know how to load. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, I don't- this is good. Nope. Mm. Press. Press triangle? Nope. Nope. I don't- I don't. <laughs> uh, rocks. Tell me about rocks. Nope. Ammo resources. Um. <laughs> Shelty? Distracting. What is it? <laughs> Hiding in stealth kelp. Stealth kelp. I don't remember. Can I just craft a rock? Here we go, here we go, now I've loaded it. Now that it's gone. Okay, cool. Scrangers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Let's see if I can't. Give it give me the rock. I'm sure this will go splendidly for me. Oh. I honestly actually don't remember how um, to switch to 
Nope, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, I can't remember how to switch to Polecaster. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. <laughs> gracious for a metal panel. Yeah, I wasn't able to loot much. No metal panel. I would check another scrap pile. Huh? What is it? metal bone? It's a tool. Blast paste, rich meat, blast trap. Medicinal berry. I just want to... Thank you, thank you. Rock? Of course, can't forget my rocks. Oh boy, there it is. Keep this for a cook. For a cook. Come on. This metal panel should work for Mildef. I don't know why you no, can't. I just need to hunt for some wild meat. Should be able to find boars around here. I should be able to get one made pretty easily, I presume, but. Apparently not. I apparently need all the health I can get if I even though that like that time that last time the machine didn't hit quite as hard maybe I just had much lower health than I thought the first time well I realize we haven't done much but read some of the old entries I am gonna run over here and get this but I am gonna have to call it here what's going on over here Interesting. I don't. This looks like it was flooded. Like this debris is really indicative of like flooding from this side, from the river. Anyway, 
I'm gonna call this one here. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, reading along with me. <laughs> and I hope you all have a good day. Let me really quick thank my patrons. I especially want to say thank you to my sapling tier patron, Bree Scalito. Thank you so much for your support. And my tree tier patron, Christopher. Thank you so much for your support as well. You're the super bestest. I truly appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.